thank you. We worship your majesty. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together again. One more time in your presence, Lord, today. We worship your neighbor, God. We give you thanks and praise. We give you glory. Honor and majesty. Jesus, we give you the praise. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your kindness. Thank you, Lord, for your love upon our lives today. Blessed be your devil God. In the name of Jesus we pray. He said for all I've seen and I've come short of the glory of God. Lord we ask for mercy this morning. Anywhere we've fallen short of your glory God. We ask for your mercy. We ask for your forgiveness. Go ahead and make that a prayer. Father we ask for God for mercy this morning. Anywhere we've fallen short of your glory. Anywhere we've missed it. Anywhere we've fallen. Oh God we ask for mercy Lord today. Whatsoever we stand against us. Whatsoever we make us not to receive. All that we have come for Lord today. We ask Lord for your mercy. Purge us Lord with your eyes up. Wash us go with your blood. Let the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus wash us and make us as white as snow this morning. To the glory of your name. We give you thanks and praise the Lord for your forgiveness. In the name of Jesus we pray. Lord, we ask for your presence, your palpable presence, your feelable presence. Let your presence saturate this service this morning. Let your glory show forth. Open your mouth and make demands on God for his presence this morning. Father, saturate this service. Let your power flow everywhere. Let your unction to function, Lord, be released. Let your glory, Lord, be made manifest. He said, anywhere the spirit of God is, there is liberty. Oh God, we ask for your spirit. Let your spirit move. Let your power move. Let your fire move. Even in this service, oh God. Father, we ask for your manifest presence to be made manifest. Even your this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Luke chapter 21, verse 13. Luke 21, verse 13. He said, and it shall be turned unto you for a testimony. 21 13. It shall be turned unto you for a testimony. Oh God, whatsoever has constituted my challenge, turn them, Lord, into a testimony. I have come to your presence, Lord, today. I can never go back the same. Oh God, turn my situation. Oh God, turn my sickness. Oh God, turn my challenge into a testimony, Lord, even in your presence today. Give me, Lord, the tangibility of your touch, oh God, in my life. Help me, Lord, to experience just a scintilla and a modicum of your power even in my life, oh God. Give me, Lord, that testimony and let your neighbor God be glorified. Everyone that will see me after now, they will know for sure that I've come to have an encounter with you. Father, I ask for that feeling testimony upon my life, upon our lives, even in this service in the name of Jesus we pray let's come against every agenda of the devil the Bible says surely they shall gather oh God every agenda of the enemy whatsoever that we stand as a barricade Lord we come against them Lord we are them Lord we obliterate them out of our ways every form of destruction by the fire of the Holy Ghost we come against them all in the name of Jesus Christ we pray how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we ask that you anoint yourself out afresh. Let your power be released upon him, O God. Anointing to function this morning. Lord, be released upon his life. Go ahead and make that a prayer. Father, release your power. Use your servant, O God, in a new dimension today. Let your unction to function. Lord, be released upon his life to the glory of your name. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you all thanks and praise. We give you glory, honor, majesty. In the name of Jesus, we pray. He said, This is the confidence we have that whenever we ask of any and according to his will, he heard it to lift up a voice and appreciate God for answers to prayers this morning. Father, we thank you. We give you thanks and praise, even for answers to prayers, Lord, today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Can we jump those hands together for Jesus? For answers to prayers this morning. 
I strongly want to believe that we have plenty of testifiers this morning in God's presence. A minister of God is at the entrance of the glory gate. You go meet him, register your name. I'll be given the privilege to testify in the larger house. With Jesus' joy, can we receive the praise team as they take us further in this service. Thumb those hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Make those hands better and bigger for our maker. Hallelujah. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. With a clap offering, with a wave offering, wave your hand to him and give him praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Wave your hand, keep waving your hand to Jesus. Wave your hand to Jesus, hallelujah. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Hallelujah, thank you Jesus. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that made the land to walk.
Your hand to Jesus gave him praise this morning. Is the reason we are here. Somebody glorify him. Thank him, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
us a shout of praise. Clap your hands, all you people. Give the Lord a shout of praise. The Bible is speaking in Psalm chapter 103 from verse 1 and 2. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We are going to lift up our voice in appreciation, thanking him for the concluded national healing and deliverance service, crusade. We saw the hand of God. We saw the faithfulness of God. We saw the almightiness of God. The decrees from God's servant came forth torrentially. Let's give God praise for his help. Lift up your voice and thank him for day one, day two, day three. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Father, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you. Leke teke magadagadaga. Zia pe teka. Zefere tekoba. Leke teke ya. Isha papa rakatata. Sepe teke 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 te. Lipo toko baka sheke teka pata. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We saw the faithfulness of God. The weather cooperated. We are going to give God praise for, for fair weather that we enjoy. At a point it threatened to rain, but Jehovah said, rain, hold your peace. Let's give God praise. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and give him praise. Father, we adore you. Lord, we celebrate you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your holy name. Father, thank you. Leke teke baka shakatata. Lepe teke 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 tia. Lepe teke 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 tia. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to give God praise for the massive turnout. For the release of his presence. For the massive harvest of souls. We are going to give God praise. Lift up your voice and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Go ahead and thank him. Leke take a bag of shakatata. Le fere ke take a take a tire. Ma se ke take a bag of daga la balagada. Ia kalaga da braga da gas. Ja pa 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 le ke te. Se fere te. Le ko bag of shakata. Le fere ke te. Si bag of laga da braga da balaga da gada. Ja ya 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 ya. Le Fika teka bagadaya in the mighty name of Jesus. Still in the mood of appreciation, we are going to thank God for our Father in the Lord, God's servant, on whose life the hand of God came mightily. We are going to thank God for that Elijah's mantle that was released through him on our nation. Let's give God praise for grace, for unusual strength, for using him mightily. Lift up your voice and thank him. Go ahead and give him praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Psalm chapter 91 verse 1. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Verse 2. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Declare, say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, we take authority, we take authority against every repressor, every repressor, every counterattack counter consigning, consigning the national healing and Deliverance could say from the pit of hell, from the marine kingdom, from the jihadi kingdom, from, from dark powers, from occultic realms, in the name of Jesus, you will scatter you by fire. Lift up your voice and pray. Lake it take her. Shagada bragadada. Lefe take it here. Bake it here. In Jesus' name we are praying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, the decree, whatever God has done is permanent. Lift up your voice and declare that prayer. Everything you have done is permanent. Thank you, Father. 
Whatever the Lord has done is permanent. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The thing the Lord has done in our midst is permanent. No devil, no man, no witch can overturn it in the name of Jesus. Now let's give me a good shout of praise. Amen. Please, you can have your seat in his presence. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together as our brethren come out for their testimonies. Let's publish again in our midst what the Lord has done. Sister Jennifer, John. Let's keep giving the Lord the praise offering as they come out. Sister Rosalind Okoy. Sister Rosalind Okoy. Ngozi Obunna. Sister Ngozi Obunna. Mr. and Mrs. Mbede Joel. Please, let's make our clap offering louder as our brethren come out for their testimonies. Anna Emmanuel. Anna Emmanuel. Farida Mustafa. Ruth Iyayi. Sister Ruth from Italy. And Paul Achuzie. Let's keep giving the Lord praise. Let's keep giving him the clap offering. Let's keep clapping as they come out again. Please, as you hear your name, run out fast. Sister Jennifer. Rosalind Okoy. Ngozi Obonna. Mr. and Mrs. Simbede. Anna Emmanuel. Farida Mustafa. Ruth Iyayi. And Paul, as you say, Amen. Sister Jennifer, your name and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Jennifer John. She has asked me to help her in the testimony. Our sister Jennifer, the Lord delivered her from a terrible situation. Of not being interested in marriage. As a young lady, men will be coming interested in her, but she never gives any care about it. She does not care marriage, it does not interest her in any way. But last Sunday, after the marriage, wisdom for marriage service, she got home and just had a meal, re decided to rest, and she saw herself in the vision of that moment. She saw our senior pastor who came, laid hands on her in the dream. Laid. I saw uh, um, daddy, uh, senior pastor here. After the, he threw a uh, um, party for the singles on the dream. That's exactly what I'm saying. We need to summarize the long story. Laid hand on her. And when he laid hand on her, fight, she saw a man, a huge man rose up from her and began to quarrel. Said, do you think you can save me from her? The senior pastor returned again, laid hands on her, looked at her straight, and fire from the eyes of the senior pastor hit her. And the man kept protesting. And the senior pastor challenged and faced that man. And fire from heaven consumed the man. And she jacked up. From that, from that vision, she woke up. She said she was, the thing was so real that she ran out of her house that afternoon. That it was so real. And for the first time in her life, she's not interested to be engaged and be married. And she has come to return all that glory to the Lord. Rosalind. Face the camera. My name is Rosalind Okoy. My name is Rosalind Okoy. For some time now, I'm having marital challenge. So, several men came. So, before you know, if we start the preparation, before you know, they will disappear. So, I want to return all glory to God. There was a day I dreamt and I saw our daddy and mama here. So, they now lay hand on me that go and marry. So, since then, things have been working well. And I'm here with my husband. I return all glory back to him in Jesus' name. Several relationship break up after one of our services in another encounter in the dream. Our mother and the Lord prayed for her and said, Go and get married. And she's back here today with her husband. And she has come to return all the glory to the Lord. Sister Angos Yobuna. Oh, 
Tell us your name. She has asked me to relay the testimony for her. Sister Ngozi Obona, her son brought her from Afibo. And that was during the six hours' presence in the Lord. When she came, she had partial stroke. She had ulcer that has lasted for years. And her son brought her to that program. But the amazing thing is that our sister cannot understand one word in English. When she came to that service, she got home and she told her son, I love the way the pastor is preaching. His words are powerful. The son turned to her and said, Mama, you don't understand one word in English. How do you know what our senior pastor preached? Every Tuesday, she's the one that will wake her son up to bring her to healing and deliverance. Brethren, you can see, as she kept coming, the partial stroke has disappeared, gone back to hell. She can walk well now. Also checked back to hell. And she has come back to return all the glory to the Lord. And she's in another deliverance service. Amen. Mr. and Mrs. Mbede. Your testimony is straight to the point. Hallelujah. Here before you, Mr. and Mrs. Mbede Joel and our great daughter, Joy Mbede. We waited 2017, a physical storm hit her tummy. For her to conceive was a challenge. And by the grace of God, we came here last year on the 11th of May with pregnancy of this daughter. And our word came. By the grace of God, we hand over the battle before God. A scanning result shows that there is a placenta previa which the princess are supposed to come before the baby. But when we came here with the report, we hand over before God, she put her bed in my hand, because I'm a head worker, safely in my clinic, the child and the baby were ded dedicated at the same day. We are here to say, God, we thank you for what you have done. We have nothing to do than to say, Baba, we are grateful for what you have done. Placenta previa terminated on the altar of God. Anna Emmanuel. Your name is straight to the point. Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Hannah Emmanuel. I am, I, mean, I am here to glorify the name of God. I married two years later, I'm having this movement in my stomach. We went to Metama, they run all the necessary test, they say there's nothing. But February last year, on 26th of Jan or February, I had a dream. When they take me to the same metama, they should take out the operation. And I told the doctor, my husband, I don't have that kind of money to take out the operation. And the immediately mommy appeared with the nurses, said they should take me to the theater, that she would take out the operation herself. And I said, mommy, we don't have kind of money. He said, I should not worry. They are, they are paid for it already. And they immediately they take me to the theater. And she take, immediately operate me, take out goat intestine from my womb. And she, immediately she stitched the wound back. He said, I should go and bear children. To the glory of God today, this is the child. Just an encounter in the night. The satanic affliction of goat intestine in our own system was removed. And here is a miracle baby. Sister Farida Mustafa. Farida Mustafa. Your name and what the Lord did for you, summarize. My name is Farida Mustafa. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done in the life of my son. I got married 2015 and I was having a series of miscarriages. So I called my mom. My mom is a Christian and I told her. She now sent anointing oil and um, communion for me. Then I was in Benin. I went and collected it. I started using it. She said I should pray and fast for seven days. I prayed and fast. On the last day, I was praying around one, one in the afternoon. Somebody knocked my door. Somebody was knocking my door. I said, who is this that is disturbing me? I just caught the prayer and I went to open the door. The person gave me a baby clothes. 
I said, I don't know you. She said, just take. I said, thank you. And I went inside. That month, I took in. That month, I took in. I missed my period. The second month, I started seeing my period. The third month, I started seeing my period. The fourth month, I started seeing my period. And I was still pregnant. I said, God, what is this? I called my mom. She now sent me anointing oil again. And that same communion. She said, I should take it and pray. And when praying, I she said, God of Pastor Paul and Eche, show yourself. Immediately, I took it and I prayed and I said what she said I should say. Immediately, the blood stopped. I stopped seeing the blood. My pregnancy was seven months. I went to the hospital. They said the pregnancy was four months. I said, I know this pregnancy is seven months. From there... I went from, they now said, so they now, I was overdue. They now booked me for CS. When they booked me for CS, then my pregnancy was 11 months, 5 days. Okay. Then my pregnancy was 11 months, 5 days. They said, they booked me for CS. I was in the hospital and now called my mom. That they booked me for CS. Sorry, I was talking to my husband. I called my husband. I was telling him. He said he's coming to the hospital. Immediately, my mom called me. She said that the past, our father in the Lord showed her in the dream that I should not do the CS. That if I should do the CS, me and my baby would die. And immediately, I ran from the hospital. I came down to Abuja. We went to our church. They were praying for me. It was on, then that was um, 31st October. The pastor now prayed and said, this month of November that we are about to enter will not end if this baby did not come out. And he prayed. That same day, that was healing and deliverance service on Tuesday. That same Tuesday around 5, labor started. I went to the hospital. From that 5 till 12 a.m., I could not give birth. My mom now brought a um, hand bill. She timed the head of the pastor, the senior pastor, and placed it on my stomach. Immediately, the baby came out. I gave birth to that baby around 3 a.m. I was still in the hospital. It's as if they hit something on this zinc. Immediately, my baby starts convulsion. It starts converting. Convulsion started. He started vomiting black, black things, vomiting blood. Before you know, he would turn to black. His neck would turn to black. I said, God, what is this? They refer us from there to National Hospital, sorry, to Gwagwalada Specialist. We went there. They said, no space. That I should go to St. Mary. I went to St. Mary Hospital in Gwagwalada. They said, the baby is dead. I did not cry. I just held my, my mommy collected the baby and I went to, I sat one place. She went on her knees and said, God of Dunamis, where are you? God of Pastor Paul and Eche, where are you? You have never failed her. Show yourself and prove yourself. If my pastor is serving a living God, I want to see it now. Immediately, my baby came back to life. Immediately, my baby came back to life. We went to another hospital from there. They woke me around 10 a.m. that they could not do the, sorry, that the baby will not survive here. That they should take him to, we should take him to National Hospital. I went to National Hospital. They said, they don't think this baby will survive here. But let's just, that we brought, we brought him in a critical condition. But I told them that that same God of Pastor Paul and Eche, that my mom has been calling, that brought this baby back to life. That same God is still alive. He will do, he will perfect his work in the life of this boy. So, they said I should sign. I said I will not sign. From there, we st they started praying for me. My baby was in coma. Give me the phone. My baby was in coma for like two weeks. I don't know if... Was in coma for like two weeks. My baby was in coma for like two weeks. My mom now brought... Um, communion. She went home and brought communion. She said, hide this communion. Put it in the mouth of this baby. Don't allow anybody to see you. 
I put the communion in the mouth of the baby and I prayed. I went back to my ward. They called me around 30 minutes later. They said I should come. I came. They said they've moved him, that he doesn't need the oxygen again. They've moved him from the ICU to the main ward that I can breastfeed him. I thank God. I started breastfeeding him. My baby was okay from child, from small. He even started talking early. From there, one thing or the other started again. He started misbehaving, doing somehow. One night like that, my husband was not around. I was the only one at home. It's as if some, somebody tapped me and said, get up and pray. I stood up and I started praying. Immediately, it's as if they opened my parlor door, opened my bedroom door. I saw something black. The thing was trying to touch my baby. I would shout, Jesus, blood of Jesus. The thing would stand up. He did it like three times. He could not succeed. The thing went out. The following day, my son woke, woke up and started behaving like imbecile. I went to my, mommy, my mommy's place in Tunga Maje. I told her, she still gave me that same anointing oil and communion to give him. Immediately, I gave him, he slept off. When he woke, woke up, he started walking normal. He started walking normal. One day, somebody told me, she was plating my hair, and she told me that this boy... That, sorry, madam, I want to talk to you. I said, you are free. She said that because of um, what I'm putting on, she's scared. I said, no, forget about my appearance. Tell me what you want to tell me. She said, this child, my first son, he was not even with me. He said, somebody said, since they cannot kill him, they will make him useless. I said, immediately I stood up. I said, or oh, else God of Pastor Paul and Etche is not alive. That is when they will succeed. I have never hurt anybody. I don't know who I've offended that said he wants to pay me back with this. But God of Pastor Paul and Nature will fight for me. I don't have any native doctor. I don't have anybody to, anywhere to run to. I need to come in right now to summarize the long story. To summarize everything, I'd like us to understand first, her mother is a Christian. She's from the other religion. Her husband is other, from the other religion. But there has been a word on this altar that anybody connected, associated with us, and we are still protected by that same unction. Now, when they gave her that negative prophecy, she said she went back, told her mother, who is a member of Dunamis at Tungamaji, and they began to pray. And the senior pastor appeared to her in person and said, who can fight the Lord? Your, you and your babies, you are okay. Come to church. And she said that because of that, she made up her mind to come to church. And she has come here to re re return all the glory back to the Lord. And this is that baby they sought to destroy all around. And she's here with a miracle baby. Amen. The devil wanted to kill the children at all, kill the child at all costs. Cost. He couldn't succeed. Wanted, if I can't kill her, let's, let's render her useless. And yet the devil failed on all counts. In your life all around, the devil shall fail. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Everything the devil is trying to achieve in your life, after this service, it shall be clear that that devil has failed election. You remember the Benin woman? What did she say? Who failed election? Devil failed election. In your life, the devil shall fail that election. Who is see that saith it and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? He's the God who frustrates the tokens of liars. He makes diviners mad. He disappoints the device of the crafty. So their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Some trust in chariots, others in horses. But we remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought and fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it and is saved. Somebody shout the loudest amen. amen. Something very important in this testimony. Even though the mother is a Christian, she is of the other religion. Yet God did not discriminate. And went to deliver her and her children. Even though... They are not worshipping and calling on the name of Jesus Christ. Am I communicating? Then how about you? Yes. 
who says, Lord, I am serving you, I'm following you. Jesus, you are my Lord, you are my God, you are my King. The devil that can stop your miracle does not exist. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. The devil that will stop your testimony, that devil does not exist. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a praise and take your seat. Congratulations, man. Affliction will never rise another time. Sister Ruth. Praise the Lord. Your name and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. I'm Ruth from Italy. Um, these are my keys and my mom. I want to thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity to be here at this exalted yes. altar. I'm, I was connected by my friend uh, in 2018 when I was pregnant of this baby. Um, I had so many challenges when she was born. She had a, a liver infection, spleen enlargement, a hole in the heart. Um, the doctor told me that she was not able to make it. So I wrote to the prayer line and I, was, I got an answer, a, a declaration. And in that period, I was having a very hard um, moment in my family because the family of my husband never wanted my uh, fourth child. So during the pregnancy and the birth, everything was really complicated. So a prayer was made, a, decl a declaration was made on me and the child and my family. So I killed to it by writing it on the paper, continuing, continuing declaring it. So um, at the long run, to God be the glory, she, she came back to life, let's put it that way. Everything was soft. And she was supposed to have uh, an operation on, in her heart. But in last month, the doctor said there was no need. The whole, the whole has reduced and uh, after two years, she had leukemia. That was last year. She had leukemia, and we were in the hospital for five um, months. Um, she went under uh, chemotherapy. So I, I wrote uh, a prayer, I mean a request again. And uh, I was replied, divine intervention. And to God be the glory, now she's hurt. You can see she's very fine. And we're here to give God the glory I, I like to make it more understandable our sister right there in italy the fourth child when she was pregnant with the fourth child a lot of challenges family marriage and a friend of ours connected her on to dunamis services online and she continued when they gave birth to the child enlarged spleen hole in the heart the fluid, in the fluid in the liver in the lungs too she now, infection in the liver, she now wrote a text to the prayer line. Answer came, divine intervention. Suddenly, the liver infection disappeared. Spleen enlargement became normal. Water in the, in the lungs dissipated. Not only that, the child had been booked for operation. They got back to the doctor for the operation. The doctor said, what happened? The hole is very tiny. It's no longer necessary. It will heal on its own. Two months after... When she, the child was about two years, they now diagnosed leukemia. She remembered her online service center. She wrote the same uh, request again. Another uh, answer came, divine intervention. Now, leukemia has appeared back to hell. And she came all the way from Italy to thank the Lord. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. Can we take that song? All the way from Italy, the earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. What city in Italy are you? From Genoa. Where is it close to? Is it close to Rome? No, we're about Vis six hours. Is it close to, to Vicentia? Sir? Vic Vicenza? Mm -hmm. No, it's the northern part. It's the northern part. Milan? About two hours from Milan. Two hours from Milan. Yes, sir. Okay. Powerful. So, we will be planting um, a home cell, house fellowship, in your house. All right. And then um, from there, we'll take it forward. 
Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Cute children, the Lord bless you. You are blessed. The Lord cause his face to shine on you. Be gracious unto you. In the name of Jesus. And the agenda of the enemy in your life arrested. In Jesus' precious name. Let's take that song. Stand what on your feet. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. What the Lord Your name and straight to the point. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Paul Achizwe. Uh, my testimony goes like this. Uh, I, after I finished my apprenticeship service, my master settled me in the year 1998, and I was doing well in the year 2000. I now laid foundation for a uh, house in my father's house, in my father's place. So I started the building building very fast to the decking level after decking then just remaining roofing level then i now went and started building personage for my mother's church in the village where we all grew up so the the the, the personage is three bedroom uh, flat bungalow i finished it you know furnished it everything all the rooms have bed the pastor that will come there is just to come with your clothes. Then, my own house now remained like that. I'd like to come in here so you can make it clear. What happened? You said you told me that only certain group of people can build house, can build in your village, can build up. So what kind of people are those? Yes, sir. Uh, only native doctors are the people that can build in my village without any problem. That, that can build upstairs. If you build bungalow, no problem. But if you want to build upstairs, you are in for trouble. So, as a child of God, I said, it cannot happen. I can build upstairs and nothing will happen. Then I started the upstairs. Just imagine somebody under three months, you finished the foundation to the roofing level. Just the roof now became a problem. Because I, the money, I supposed to use a roof. I use it for personage. Now, from that time, after that personage was dedicated, sir, my problem, everything, my business collapsed. I was into baking business. Everything collapsed. I owe people here and there, you know, until I sold the bakery and came to Abuja with nothing. That, then I was in Jaws. I came to Abuja with nothing. So, I now started attending Dunamis. There was one of these Easter, Easter uh, program that he was preaching. That was around 2018. He, he, he explained about the blood of Jesus. How the DNA of Jesus Christ is different from any other person's DNA. I was touched. That night, in the dream of the night, I saw daddy. He entered the car with me to my village. As we reached the village. Do you know where we found ourselves? In that my mother church. Where I built that personage.
Because I built that personage in the honor of the founder of the church. The church was found around, two, uh, around 60s, early 60s. So I, when daddy came there, he, it was a crusade. She was, he was preaching. As he was preaching, all of a sudden, owl, this bird called owl, started hooting. Who, 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 who. Immediately, daddy heard that sound. He pointed at them. Immediately he pointed at them, power came on me. I started walking in the air to the tree where they were. I caught one of them, separated the neck from the body. Now, I still walked on the air to the other tree. You know this village church is there, there are trees there. To the other tree, I caught another one, separated the neck from the head. And I now walked majestically to the ground. With my, with my palm full of their blood. Then I came down. I saw a man in a white apparel standing, smiling at me. And the face was the face of the founder of that church. Then the spirit said, show him now. Then I showed him. He now dipped his hand on the blood and told me to go and get any, anything you want in life. Go and get it. Then I now said, let me go and show uh, my daddy. The, my hands to show him that I've killed them. All of us, I didn't see him. They said he has entered power bike and left. I was angry. I was angry. And the spirit said, But you have been blessed. You can go. And that was how I opened my eyes. So after that, within a few years, a year plus, God visited me. And this is. After 20 years, years, after 20 years of that house being abandoned, just getting to the roof level. Yes, after 20 years, and people were mocking me. Say he, he used the money he's supposed to use and finish his house. He, used, he went and used it to go and build for God. Let the God now come and build his house for him. So they were mocking me. And the thing affected even repentance in my village. Because my house was situated at the marketplace. So everybody, they must see it. Anybody Just see? take your time and open your, your phone and show us. And the Lord visited him. Today, that big mansion has been roofed. Business has been restored. And there is now a lot of revival going on in the village. By that singular encounter. And he has come back to return all the glory to the Lord. Every satanic mystery fighting your destiny. Every satanic mystery fighting your destiny. This time and in, look at this. The village, in the village. Stranded for 20 years. Only because he went to attempt to build for God. And the house is at the marketplace where so everybody must see it. It became a negative evangelistic tool. Negative evangelistic tool. Counterproductive negative feedback mechanism today i announce to you every mystery fighting your life every satanic wickedness fighting your faith anything fighting you because you go to church because you are committed to god from your father's house or your community today that fight is over Every conspiracy from your ancestral altars, generational altars, family altars, fighting you because you, 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 you profess the name of the Lord, because you go to church, because you believe in God, because you are committed to God. Today I decree that fight is over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Victory is confirmed in your direction. Amen. The God who turned around 20 years of reproach <laughs> is turning around your reproach today. Amen. Whether it is one year, five years, ten years, twenty years, no matter how long that reproach has lasted, it is turning around today. Amen. Shout the loudest amen. amen. Give the Lord a praise as you take your seat. Wow. What a mighty God we serve. We are so grateful to God for this amazing, amazing, amazing testimonies. And I believe that somebody is coming back with your own testimony in the name of Jesus. Uh, they informed me about somebody who was brought in during the 
convention Tuesday service. Abandoned to die. He's in the service today, hale and hearty. I'm sure that will be taking that testimony. God is awesome. Please lift up your hands and say, Father, thank you. We are grateful for your help. Thank you for your love. In Jesus' name, praise God. We proceed today as we just take a quick look at our Seeds of Destiny. It's titled, Forgiveness, a Key to Healing. We understand that forgiveness is a vital key to healing in life and destiny. In today's write-up in the Seeds of Destiny, God's servant tells a story about a lady who was dying of blood cell cancer. And she had been to many places and eventually met a Christian doctor who told her to go and forgive. Of course, the doctor didn't know anything in particular, but the doctor told her, go and forgive. And she broke out in tears, broke down in tears, and started to cry and told the doctor a story. What was the story? You've heard senior pastor preach it several times before about the fact that when she was a little girl, her mother died. And the father didn't explain anything to her. He didn't tell her this is what's going on. Next thing he saw, people enter the, she saw people enter the house and put the mother in a coffin and then bury the mother. And she wondered what did the mother do to the father that he put her in a coffin and put her in the ground. She didn't understand. And then he went ahead and married another wife. And unfortunately for her again, that wife was a very wicked stepmother who maltreated her and treated her very badly. Of course, the bitterness, the anger, the animosity, the hatred, the unforgiveness ventured into developing uh, blood cell cancer and until that doctor told her to forgive. And she did. As soon as she did, within six weeks, she was healed, totally declared free of blood cell cancer. Today, if there is anybody that is here with a terminal condition or an infirmity, an affliction, as you forgive and release those who have offended you, I believe that God will heal you as well in the name of Jesus. God is about to turn somebody's life and destiny around. And if you are that person, you shout the loudest, Amen. I'd like you to lift up your hands in a minute and I'd like you to think about who is it that has hurt you so much? What is it that has hurt you so much? And you can't seem to forgive naturally by your own volition. I'd like you to think about it for a minute with your hand up and then begin to tell God, Father, I forgive X, I forgive Y, I forgive Z, I forgive W, I forgive A, I forgive Mr. B, I forgive Mrs. C, Lord, I release them from my heart. Father, you know how they offended me, but that is no excuse. I have the obligation now and the desire and the willingness to forgive them totally, release them totally from my heart. Oh God, I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. I leave them in your hands. I release them. It doesn't matter their offense. Today, I forgive them. I'd like you to pray that prayer with all seriousness. I'd like you to tell God with every seriousness and let God know that you genuinely mean it. And as you release these people, I see a miracle coming your way. Fruitfulness is coming your way. Joy is coming your way. Marital settlement is coming your way. Victory is coming your way. Healing is coming your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. We give you praise. We worship your majesty in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for hearing us and for answering us today in Jesus' name. And Lord, I do not place my faith in my own right. Lord, I place my faith in your mercy alone. For your mercy is my helpline in the earth. And my As you leave those people in the hands of God and you release them into, your, into his hands and you take on, hold on to him, I believe that you'll be back here with your testimony in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. We proceed this morning. We'll be receiving the ministry of Dunami's voice. And they are ministering a powerful medley of songs. Songs all received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enche. As a singer and minister, I believe you'll be blessed. So let's receive Dunami's voice with a clap offering this morning as a minister.
Just like 
Lift up your hands and begin to speak to God. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Father, draw me close to you. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Close to you. Draw me close to you. Close to you. Close to you. Close to you.
Lift your hands everywhere you are. Close to you, close to you, close to you, close to you, close to you,
Stop your hands everywhere you are. I'm close to you, Lord. I pray. Where I be, I'm like you. Where I be, come my best, close to you. Close to you, Lord, I pray, where I be, come my bed, where I be, come my bed, Your hands everywhere you are. Sadi galaya daya da husadi 
He pepele da yada la yada hazari. He koba da galia te pere to si palarida. He topa la yada yaya yo. He kala yaya pray the spirit. Mahasha da 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 In the name of Jesus, lift your hands everywhere you are. Close to you, close to you, close to you, close to you. Asking him to draw close to you, draw you close to himself, and he's right here now, standing near you, standing around you. He wants to give you an unforgettable experience, an experience you cannot forget, an experience you will live to remember, an experience that will change your story. If your hands a revelation experience, a healing experience, a deliverance experience, a liberation experience, a destiny changing experience, a revel a, 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 an elevation experience, a transformation experience. For we all beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord. We are changed into the same image from glory to glory by the Spirit of God. It your hands are. Close to you, close to you, close to you, close to you, close to you. Close to you, close to you. Lift your hands and receive that experience. Master, let the encounter angels go into action. 
deliverances from family altars deliverances from spirit husband spirit wife there is deliverances from mysterious sicknesses and diseases inexplainable symptoms the lifting of embargoes and i see the snail i see i see the snail devil i see i see a devil in the form of snails coming out of somebody right now the spirit behind that slow motion in your life and in your destiny is being roasted and destroyed right now October Afarati see Talanana. I see that Galahada, that spider web, that satanic network in form of a spider web around your life and around your destiny is being set on fire right now. Le Pereira, yes, rising and crashing. You try to climb up a staircase and you fall all the way down. You try to climb a mountain and you fall all the way down. That spell is being broken right now. Riding a bicycle and just just so slow and struggling and sweating. That bicycle is being set on fire right now. The spirit of reproach where you, you are wearing a garment that is stained, stained with, with excrement and excreta, stained with, with rubbish and garbage. That garment is being set on fire right now. Father, in the name that is above every name, thank you for the change of story. Family altars catching fire. Masquerade altars catching fire. Occultic altars catching fire. Witchcraft altars catching fire. Now, I even see God giving new kidneys and new organs and new heart and new liver for people right now. Something is happening. Lift your hands and receive that experience. That experience that you will live to remember. Father, give that man the experience. Give that woman the experience. Give that boy the experience. Give that girl the experience. Now, even those watching all the way across the airwaves all the way to italy to spain and everywhere you are something is happening to you right now receive his visitation receive his touch receive his touch receive his visitation at the count of three you scream i receive and you place the hand on your head with a shout of i receive and you begin to pray in tongues like never before father let it be in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus words Two and three receive. Receive. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive now. 
and give him the praise give him the praise give him the honor give him the adoration give him the worship honor him and adore him thank you master something happened to you just now you got your healing just now you got your you saw those snails i was talking about set on fire or just 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 left your life you saw your the encounter of god delivering you from that rise and crash you got a physical healing in your body right now. Anywhere you are, quickly rush forward here. Deliverances that took place, encounters that happened, and miracles that happened. Give the Lord a big clap of hand, and we can take the testimony of that man. If all the clips are available, we take the testimony of that man while we receive the haste. Let's celebrate the King of Kings. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be Give the Lord a clap as you come forward. You are worthy to, to be glorified. glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy, 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 Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. Worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy, Lord. Worthy, 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 wor
Go ahead with the other picture. Good. Couldn't wear shoes save for slippers. That was his condition while he came in last month. Doctors in the hospitals in the hospital were tired of him. Had released him for death. Re discharged to go and die. There was nothing else they could do because major organs were failing already. And he sought for divine intervention. Came in on that Tuesday. The usher told me that he couldn't stay in the crowd here because he was smelling, practically smelling. Oh my God. They had to move him to the intensive unit there. And after the session in the evening, while God's servant was through and was walking out from the sanctuary, he was wheeled to this arm of the church and prayers were offered. And that was it. The help of God located him and he began to resolve. The ascites from distended abdomen, the tummy is flat, tummy. legs are legs back to are normal. Deflated now. The Even ulcers. though we can have this, the, 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 the traces of the previous car, yes, sir. but the swollen leg right there, here, right on the dosum of the foot is flat. He, he couldn't have worn these shoes before, before now. This is a testimony of a man God rescued from death. Death. He will wear his socks back and wear his shoe. You can see the leg, how it was before now and how it is right now. And this leg couldn't enter any shoe. I don't think irrespective of the size of that shoe. And right now, that leg is in the socks and is entering the shoe. Will you stand on your feet and he has done so much for me I cannot tell it all If I had 10,000 tongues It still wouldn't be enough Everybody say He has done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. Now ready. If I had a thousand tongues, it still would be enough. If I had a thousand What shall I render, render, to Jehovah? He has done so very much, very much, much, much. What, what, what shall I render to Jehovah? He has done so very much. Oh, he has done so very much. Say na 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 Shout of praise. I am so happy. Yes, bring the mic. I am so happy for you. That the praise, be, praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That they are more than happy. But please, I have two singular requests to make. One, that I will never take drugs again all the rest of my life. Amen. Right on the right leg here, yesterday when I was peeling it, I saw that there is a brand new skin 
And this tells me that God can give me a brand new kidney and a brand new heart. And my second request, please, Daddy, with due respect, is that while I was in the hospital, I met a friend. And when my heart's fellowship leader came with some people, they prayed for me. And they also prayed for him. I invited him to church. He said that they have diagnosed, uh, 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 discharge him. But he's still going for dialysis. He's right inside his church now. He's just a young boy. God will heal him. And I want God to also, the one that healed me. Healed you to, to heal him. That's him. right. Come over here. With his own report. Oh, really? Can, I, can we have the report? Come over here. Face me. It's done. No, 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 no. He's going to bring his report. You are the Lord that changed me. How do you know? How did you know that that was what I want to sing? You are the Lord that changed me. You are the Lord that changed me. You are the God that changed me. You are the Lord 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 that changed You are the Lord that 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 You change stories but you never did. appearing like the heart is resolving itself back pericardial effusion is gone and the valves are normal and things are returning back to normal lift up your hands father in the name of jesus i pray that you will perfect everything he says he doesn't want to be on drugs again the rest of his life so shall it be father thank you because of a brand new heart thank you because of brand new kidneys and thank you because the brand new skin is already there or the Holy Ghost God makes all things new in your life in Jesus name again you are the God who changed your name. you are the Lord that changed your name. Clap and a shout, take your seat. Yes, sir. You gave a word that God was setting demonic bicycles on fire. Demonic bicycle. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, that I, God was setting bicycles on fire. I remember. He said his grandfather used to have a bicycle. Mm -hmm. When the grandfather died, the bicycle was kept somewhere in a particular room. In, the, in his bedroom. In his bedroom. His grandfather's bedroom. Yes. He said at times he will have a dream. Where he will see himself on top of that bicycle in the dream of the night. And each time he wakes up from that dream, he will be experiencing backwardness and delays. He said, while the declaration was on, God opened his eyes where he saw the face of the senior pastor appeared in that same room, picked the bicycle, scattered it, and set it on fire. And he believes that his deliverance hey! has come. Every instrument of delay equipment of stagnation every instrument of retrogression prepared by the devil to delay you that is available from your father or grandfather every such equipment of delay we set it on fire right now say after me every instrument implement
implement, implement. Equipment, equipment of delay, of delay. Backwardness, backwardness and retrogression, and retrogression. In, my life, in my life in my family, in my family. anywhere you came from anywhere you came from, from an ancestral lineage from an ancestral today, lineage. Is today is your end you equipment you, equipment, you, implement, you implement you instrument, you instrument of, backwardness, of backwardness of delay, of delay. in the name of Jesus name of catch Jesus. fire Catch. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. They are set on fire, they are set on fire, they are set on fire, they are set on fire. Everything from your father's house, everything from your history, everything from your family, delay your life, delay your destiny. They are set on fire, set on fire, set on fire. Now, shout the Lord the same man. It is done. You will testify. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat. Yes, sir. You mentioned that God was setting people free from cobweb and spiderweb attacks. Sister Christ Christina said, even on her way to church this morning, she ran into spiderwebs. While you were making declarations, she said, clean water was gushing out from the altar and washing those spiderwebs off her face this morning. And clean she water. Clean Anybody water. ready for gushing the rivers of, of living water? Every dryness in your life is being irrigated right now by the fire by the by the by the fountain of, of of living waters in the name of jesus every dirt in your life and in your body is cleaned off now so shall it be stand up stand up stand up i take authority over that demonic lion there are different kinds of lions there is a lion, your enemy as an, an adversary, walk it about like a roaring lion. I see that roaring lion around her life and destiny and family altar. Right now, fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. From this day, the wrath of the enemy, the anger of the enemy is returned back to hell. I decree, I declare, I announce, I pronounce your freedom and your liberty in Jesus' precious name. Someone interview her for me and let me know. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Also, yes. For our brother Emmanuel Odo, he said spider webs and snail attacks for 17 years have established him in stagnation. He graduated 17 years ago. No job. He tries to set up a business. It doesn't work. He's been struggling with nothing to show. While you were making declarations, he said the Lord opened his eyes. He saw those snails leaving his body. Snails. And snails leaving, leaving his, bo his body. Leaving his body and spiders leaving his body. And he believes that that's his deliverance today. When you today. combine snail, snail is slow motion. Spider web is no motion. Spider web, no motion. You know, when fly enters spider web, that's the end of his flight. Slow motion, no motion. That is complete establishment in stagnation. Even with a master's degree, no job. 17 years 17 of years. post graduation. Yes. No job, no, no business. Job, no business. And not just no in one business. service, God no clears it out. Step over here. I don't know what has followed you all these years. Whether it's for 17 years, for 10 years, for 15 years, it's being cleared out now. Lift your hands and your voice and say, In the name of Jesus, every limitation, every embargo on my life, you are lifted now. Satanic agenda around my life. You are, you are terminated. In the name of Jesus. Name of on, Jesus. Your mark, on your mark. Get set. Get set. Shall go. Go. She coba de ke frata tele parani tanas. Fire. 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 As the snail is out. As the spider webs are out. Go and get your job. Go and be established. Go and be fulfilled. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Give the Lord the praise. Take your seat very striking encounter for sister Betta. she said she's a home cell host um she's been struggling nothing to show she's 51 no marriage she said while you were making those declarations a giant man appeared and stood by her and told her that he was the one stopping her from getting married and then the senior pastor appeared with a sword of fire <laughs> and separated them separated the man and the woman that's right and now get ready to marry at the age of 51. Amen. Somebody stand up on your feet. 
Stand on your feet and say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic personality. Every demonic personality hanging around my life. Hanging around my life. Every demonic personality. Every demonic personality. Monitoring spirit. Monitoring spirit. Hindering spirit. Hindering spirit. Hanging around my hanging life. Hanging around my life. And around my destiny. And around my destiny. Today. Today. I separate. I separate from you. From you. With the sword. With the sword. Of fire. Of fire. I separate. I separate. My life. My life. My destiny. And destiny from you. From you. With the sword. With the sword. Of fire. Of fire. In the name of Jesus, I separate my life from you. I separate myself, my destiny from you. With the sword of fire, by the sword of fire, with the sword of fire. Now, now, now. In Jesus precious name amen it is done congratulations go and be established return with your testimony the blanket they used to cover you is lifted. Is set on fire. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat. So, sister, sister Rose. Sister Rose here. Yeah, please be seated. While the ministration was on, she had an encounter where she saw lightning as though the heavens were open and wedding gowns were being released for ladies trusting God to be married. What are you telling me? Wedding gown and has dropped before her. Has dropped before her. Before. Did you pick it? I tried to pick it. I saw a young man kneeling before me, fearing complexion, taller than me, and I like his appearance. He was just bringing out a ring and everything wiped up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tell us again. Tell us again. Why did you tell that balance? Why did you hide that one? I was going to talk the to revelation that. should be complete. She, she said she saw a young man oh, she, when she was picking, while she was picking her gown she saw a young man knelt before her brought out he a wedding ring the young man is light in complexion light in complexion and she liked the guy she liked the guy <laughs> God will never give you somebody you hate never 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 and she liked the guy. And the guy is taller than her. That's right. That's right. Very important. <laughs> Can't you see your blessings coming? Can't you see your husband coming? Stand on your feet and celebrate. Can't you see your blessings coming? I see it coming. Can't you see your favors coming? I see it coming. Can't you see your wife coming? Hey! Can't you see your money coming? Oh, you're taking now. Take it, take it, take it. We gonna take your blessings. We gonna take your husband. We gonna take it, 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 Blessings coming. I see it coming. Can't you see your blessings coming? I see it coming. Can't you see your fire coming? I see it coming. Can't you see your favors coming? I see it coming. Can't you see your money coming? I see it coming. Hey! Listen, this morning, it is not just wedding gowns for women, it is wedding suits for men. Amen. It is baby clothes for children. Baby dedication clothes for children. It is employment letters for those... Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Employment letters for those trusting God to be established. It is contract letters for those trusting God for their contracts. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? It is property documents for those trusting God for their properties, for personal houses or property development. Is God speaking to somebody here? Something that you are trusting God for, you've been trusting God for, is being released for you right now. 
and I announce to you, young man, young woman, everyone here, no devil shall prevent your husband from coming, shall prevent your wife from coming. When I say in the name of Jesus, receive what belongs to you today, you scream, I receive. Did you see what I did? I receive. Are you ready? Stretch out your hands. In the name of Jesus, I command you to receive what God has brought in here for you today. Your wedding gowns, your wedding rings, your wedding suits, your baby clothes, your baby materials, your babies, your property documents, your employment letters, your employment letters, your, 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 your business documents, your contract approvals, receive your, 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 your housing documents, receive a fresh mantle and fresh fire that you are asking for. And I say in the name of Jesus, receive it now. I receive. Receive. Receive, 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 receive it is yours, receive it is yours, receive it. No devil can stop you from having it, receive 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 it. Le parata sata preta soto kalala, re pata sate prata kasha kolala ba, le baraga dega laga baraga dugo kalala. Receive it is yours, Father. Thank you, because it is released in Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord the praise as you take your seat. Sir, our sister Christiana just testified of an encounter about the spider web, and while you prayed for her, you took authority over the roaring lion. Yes. And the wickedness of the devil against her family and against her life. Precise to a fault, sir. Wow. She said there is this native doctor in her village that is currently on her case and had vowed that nothing good will come out from her. And told her and her, fa her mother to relocate from where they currently live because he will not let them rest. As if their presence spoils everything and all the charm he's into. Has gone about the village, went about in the village, painting them black to the people. And then the word came, the roaring lion, the evil lion. It is over. Every voice speaking against your life, or your mother or your father, every voice of the lion, the enemy, or their agents, roaring against your destiny, roaring against your family, roaring against your God. Today, I declare that voice silence forever. I declare that lion roasted forever. Somebody shout power. Give the Lord the praise. Take your seat. Oh, shout, oh, 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 oh. So, sister testimony here said that she always sees these um, snakes in her dream. Always sees snakes. snakes in her dream. Which affected her home not working. Her husband just packed out someday and left, abandoned her with her remaining child lost one of the um, the children in the process of that while the ministration was on she came under power and she saw this big python moved out of her life wow. and she believed that that deliverance had happened for congratulations her. lift up your hands i declare that python is gone and you are released that life sucking path python life sucking path python is set on fire children eating python is set on fire in the name of jesus in the name of jesus life destroying python baby eating python anti-marital python set on fire let's go she, she had two children and one she lost one of them baby eating python today is the end of it Amen. and the rest are released it's a python also that is responsible for losses of pregnancies. Not just in her life, but in her environment and her family. I prophesy to someone here today, every, every life-threatening devil that is taking life from you or life from your loved ones, life from your children, life from your family members, today, I declare that that devil looking for life from your family is set on fire. Leave. 
power of the Holy Ghost shall cock up back. The spell of recurrent death in the family. Siblings passing in rapid succession. Today that spell is broken. Thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus. Be free from the influence of the water. Be free from serpentine altars. In the name of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Roast, 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 roast. Your powers are broken from wherever you came. Let the pika para taga zede galasta. Let perete sita rabadelo tara de gali gagadadara. Let perete satra to satala gadagalala. Jarota saprete satra to kosa katakalala. Jeko kare peto sefrita chocolate gadiga la gavrida kakakazada. Today is the end of, the, of your tenure. Let porata satalata kakasato la rada kakasaki la gagadela la 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 la. Go on your knees. Kneel down. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Say, Jesus, I receive freedom from the power of the waters, from spirit relationship, from serpent altars. I receive freedom. Go now! Out! Fire of the Holy Ghost! Be roasted by fire. Go, be roasted by fire. 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 You and all the demons that came along with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Serpent altars be roasted by fire. They are being roasted everywhere. Every serpent. That's right. One is in the middle right there. Serpentine demons be roasted by fire. Water demons be roasted by fire. Shut up. Lipepe barada gagadada. Lekita kaparata satalala. Somebody scream fire. Itata lipepe dada. Serpentine spirits. Marine spirits. Water spirits. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. I set you on fire. Your tenure expire. Your tenure expire. Your tenure expire. Your tenure expire. Lipe pe barata sita. Shaka. Lipe pe barata sita. 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 Lipe pe Altars of the water, altars of the water, altars of witchcraft, altars that's of the serpent, catch fire, pray, pray, lete si pareto kuza, lete rete si parada, 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 lete rete si par
Lift your voice and say, "Come and say in the name of Jesus." In the name of Jesus, every altar, every altar of the water, of the waters, every altar, every altar of the serpent, of the serpent around my life, around my life, and every ancestral, and every altar, ancestral altar around my destiny, around my destiny that has anything that has anything to do with my life, to do with my life, and my destiny, and my destiny negatively, negatively, water altar, water altar, marine, marine witchcraft, marine witchcraft, serpentine witchcraft, witchcraft, ancestral witchcraft, ancestral in, witchcraft. The Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that's fire, that's fire, 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 Something just broke. Something just broke. Some altars in the waters just caught fire. Some powers of the enemy just caught fire. Some very, very aggressive with freedom just happened. Give the Lord a shout of praise. The testimony you've been waiting for for 15 years just arrived. Amen. For 20 years just arrived. 
for 30 years it just arrived amen give the lord a big clap as you take your seat so there is fire here those people that came under power and not fire just investigate them investigate them because things happen yes sir you gave a word that somebody you, god is delivering somebody from escrita escrita being poured on somebody this is mr austin he said last year when the wife was pregnant all those that were exploding and and, and just um, manifesting aggressively or just identify them let's ask them what 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 was their experience yes when the wife was pregnant few days to delivery he had a dream where escrita was poured on him and the moment he woke up from that demonic encounter few days the wife gave birth and they lost the child okay. and yesterday night the wife is also pregnant sir and yesterday night he had the same dream where escrita being poured on him okay. and that word came it's a deliverance for, for lift up your hands it is over fire of the holy ghost that garment is set on fire and where that escrita came from it returns back there back to sender back to sender back to sender to send her back 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 to back to send her back to send her back to send her back to send her back to back to send her back to send her back to send her back to send her back to back to send her back to send her back to back to send her back to send her back to send her back to send her back to back to send her back to send her back to send her back to send her back to back to send her back to send her back to back to send her 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 Give the Lord a praise. What happened here? Sir, this is Mr. Emmanuel's success. You gave a word concerning cobweb attack. He said in December 2021, he traveled to the village and when he got home, he saw a need to fix his father's house. And he said at, the, at that instance of releasing the money, that same night, in the dream of the night, he saw himself climbing a ladder. But the ladder was networked with cobwebs. Hi. He couldn't skate through. And yesterday, he also had that, that demonic dream where he could not also skate through as a result of the, the, the ladder being covered with cobweb. He now, he said in the, in the heat of the ministration, at the down. instance of yeah, that word, that God opened his eyes. Yes, he saw himself went through the ladder. Cobweb disappeared. Yes, sir. And right now, everything Give is the Lord a praise. Everything that has stopped you before today, every reprisal and retaliation from your father's house that is trying to stop you from your next level, today they are set on fire. They are set on fire. They are set on fire. Somebody scream, power! Fire! Power. So, while you Take were praying seat. for the lady... Um, and you, um, the other lady that serpent, a, a python walked out of her you walk through the aisle taking authority over every serpent sucking devil and you prayed for her she said life sucking devils life -sucking baby devil. sucking devils baby also. sucking devils yes she said she and her siblings have been plagued with these serpent encounters in the dream she always sees serpent confronting her fighting with serpent in the dream two days ago she had an, a, an encounter where somebody threw serpent at her now relationship not working life not working one of the experiences she had she says she was beaten by the serpent in one of her fingers and every time she comes for serpent, it left her with a physical the on serpent the, beat her in the, dream, in the dream and she and his physical, his physical scar, on the hand. scar on the hand say every time she comes for service while brutal declarations are being made that hand always comes under power now while you went praying for her it was the same hand that you held and she felt power such through that hand and she believed the deliverance Step and the sky here. is also every demonic that. deposit in your body that is fighting your destiny is hereby set on fire that deposit is set on fire the serpent is set on fire the toxin of the serpent is set on fire and you are free sister obekba teresa eight years ago was diagnosed as having hormonal imbalance to the extent that her left breast started producing milk, both breasts started producing milk, and had defied all medications. She came to the church in that condition this morning. 
Second, she, before she delivered her baby, she was also giving some injection on her waist that led to unbearable pain, also defied all medication as well. But as the servant of God was firing on all cylinders. That's right. Multi-cylindric firing. All cylinders, man. So power passed through her. She felt some vibrations. And she went to the ladies to check. The milk has dried up. Milk has dried, dried up. up from the two breasts. That's right. As if that was not enough. She saw a demonic lady mm -hmm. with her horse leg jump horse out of leg. her horse leg. The jump demon was a lady, but the leg Let was horse. horse. Hey! 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 And he jumped out now. The pain is gone. She's free. The breast milk has stopped. The pain is gone. She can bear down those she couldn't do before. She can do them now. Why will the demon not go? This is not a place for horse, horse leg. Lift up your hand. In the name that is above every name, every stranger in your life, every strange entity in your body, every strange affliction in your life, strange disease in your system, today is the end of it. Satan, lose your grip of the people of God. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord perfects what remains in your life the lord perfect the balance in your life the lord perfect what remains in your life in jesus name yes tell us this is our brother basi he said in the midst of the heated declaration he saw you pulled him out from a pit and you turned on a tap pouring water on him the moment you were pouring the water his garment was changing and he believes it's a change of story for him congratulations brother basi lift up your hands Today marks the end of near success syndrome, the end of rise and crash, the end of satanic conspiracies that scatter businesses and scatter things that are about to materialize. Today is the end of witchcraft oppression. I declare you free today. Limit is over. Embargo is lifted. That level they say you cannot cross. And they say people in your family cannot cross. Today is the end of it. I speak to somebody here today. That place they say you cannot go. That realm they say you cannot cross. That limit, that embargo they placed on your life is lifted. What they say you cannot do, you shall do it. You shall step in there. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. Who says you shouldn't be able to touch a particular realm? When it is 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, they say, okay, you can try. But 100 million, they say, no, you can't. That devil is a bastard. Embargo lifted. Stretch your hands. For you are bassy too. Power of the Holy Ghost. Put your hands. I prophesy upon you today. Openings. Openings that are foreign. With international business breakthroughs. Power of the Holy Ghost. Zige baga dige lifre tika. International financial breakthroughs. Ziba da 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 lige brege de gazadala. Stretch your hands in front of you. One man met me yesterday. He said, Five years ago, I encountered him. Five years ago. He works for a multinational company where they pay him very well. Very well. That is, pay in dollars and good money. And I told him, I said, in five years time, where you are working for now, you will be given the power to own such a place. Yesterday, he brought documents. He said, it's exactly five years today. And today, they have given me the approval to do the exact thing. 
that the company I am working for is doing and his license is bigger than that one. I couldn't remember. But he said, five years. It's sweet. When you are not, you are not just talking by guesswork. He got far more than that five years. I'd like you to, uh, to find out from this, my short guy. Are you contemplating anything in that realm? Yeah, just, just find out from him. International foreign business does an explosion that will and there are many of you here like that that doors are opening for massive things across 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 where they will entrust you from outside this country and they say do this for us uh, we are looking for a nigerian we can trust that we can put things in their hands and if you are like that step forward here okay okay remember where you are remember where you are power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I declare an explosion every door you are trusting God to open for you in this season the door is open help 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 something is happening here there is fire burning here the door is open it's open it's open is open in Jesus name yes please be seated this is brother Mike Ode. He said in 2012, he had a dream where he was, he saw a white man appeared, a, a man on white appeared to him and said, climb this 12 story building. As he got to the 11th floor, he couldn't make it to the 12th. He said after then, his life has been characterized with rising and falling. He's in the music ministry. He will receive songs and forget them. But he said the, the, his deliverance started this morning. After the early will I seek you. A song he received a year ago. Immediately after the service, six of them, he was able to remember them. But just right now, while this, in the midst of the heated declaration, he said he saw a wild wind took him from the ground floor to that 12th floor. And he believes that is a major deliverance for him. When you started talking before you reached the area of song and music, I was asked to tell him that the voice they said shouldn't be heard will now be heard. Exactly, sir. The voice, he said he sees himself in the farm, in the village, farming. Um, I play Tongues of Fire, that particular, who says your voice shall not be heard. Huh? Because of you, the voice of your generation shall be heard. That huh? is like something I play every morning. All the morning, time. And did you morning. tell me about that before? Yes, so the voice that they say should not be heard, shall not be heard. Sing you a song, any song you want. Any song you want, let them give you any key you want. Now, you are singing this prophetically, not as usual. For the amplification of your voice, generationally. Ikemo, Ikemo, Ezemo, Ezemo, you are the God of power. Ikemo, Ikemo, Ikemo. You are the God of power. He came on, he came on. On your mammy, I do on your dicky. On your mammy. On your mama, you are worthy of my praise. On your mama, everyone whose voice the session shall be heard, shall be heard right now. Your generation shall hear your voice. Your community, in your community, your voice shall be heard. In your family, your voice shall be heard. Nation, your voice shall be heard. Your in your generation, your voice shall be heard. Help her, help her, help her. Your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. 
Yes, everywhere, something is erupting. Your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my man. Your voice shall be heard. Your voice shall be heard. It is the spirit of the Lord. 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 It is the spirit of the Lift your hands now. That first album, those new songs you talked about, I want you to do a dummy of it. I'll listen to it. And then just agree with you on the goodness of them. Then I will pay for the album. Let me see the devil that say it will not go far. Let me see the devil. I will pay for the album. And then we'll do one of the videos which I will also pay for. On your mama, you are worthy of my praise. On your mama. You know this song? The song is his song. Take it again. Oh, you run your dick again. Oh, no, mama. What shall I render unto you? I shall die. You have done so much for me. You have turned my life around. Oh, no, mama. You are worthy of my praise. A hit song. This is already a hit song. This is already a hit song. And it shall be pushed out as such. I know hit when I hear it. Who says your voice shall not be heard? Who says your voice shall not be heard? 
Who says your the voice of your children shall not be heard? Who says that your the voice of people in your community shall not be heard? I prophesy to you, your voice shall be heard. Your voice is being heard. Your voice is being heard. That's right. Something is happening. He's breaking forth. 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 Somebody lift your voice and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My voice must be heard. My voice shall be heard. In my generation. My voice must be heard. Shall be heard. In Jesus name. Open your mouth and pray. Take that song again. very fast so that no dupe goes to claim it before time but it's, the copyright is established right now the copyright of this song is established now as it is being sung my brother Ode let it be clear on this video <laughs> give the Lord a big clap of hand take your sin yes what happened
So, while you were praying for Brobasil, you took authority over rise and crash. Yes. Near success syndrome. Yes. And whoever, whatever they say he could not achieve, yes. he will achieve it. He said in his family, nobody had ever laid foundation of, the, of a house. Of a house. Of a house. Nobody has ever built. Built in the house. In the whole family. In the whole family. He was the first person that dared it. After he laid the foundation, moving a little bit, it was arrested. He couldn't continue from that. He went through military training. After he was posted, he, he had a... He had passed and he went to the village. When he got to the village, his, um, his stepbrother took the shot that he used for the training and went away with it. The day he was to return, he returned with the shot and told him that the shot couldn't size him. And he ignorantly went back with it. The day he wore it, he was paralyzed downward. We took him out for one year. Afterwards, he lost that job. He lost Incredible. it. Near success, people promise him would not fulfill the promise. Nothing working. And today, and his word just came. and the word just came for him. Who is he that said it and it come to pass? When the Lord commanded it, who say you cannot become that thing? Who say you cannot cross that level? Who say you cannot build a house? Who's ah yeah 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 yeah? Ya. Who say you cannot fulfill purpose? Who say you cannot fulfill destiny? I stand there by the apostolic and prophetic mantle of God on my life to announce where they say you cannot go, you are going there. What they say you cannot do, you are go, you are go, you are doing it. Where they say you cannot cross, and listen to this beyond that. All the years that the canker worm has eaten, all the years that the palmer worm has eaten, all the years that the caterpillar has eaten, fire! restoration, 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 restoration. This service is too brutal that we'll need to continue at this frequency next week, Tuesday. Give the Lord a praise, take yourself. My Lord has the key of the He opens and no one can shut. He has opened the door for me. And no man can shut the door. My God has, my God has the key of the He opens and no one can shut. He has the door. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. 
Incredible a, things happening today. Amazing testimony there. Go ahead. Sir, it's a restoration, it's a deliverance, it's a transformation for Sister Ngozi Okon, uh, Blessing Okonko. While you were coming from the aisle, you spotted her in the midst of the crowd there and you were she was already exploding while i was yes, coming under okay power. and under then power. You, were, you were setting water spirits serpentine spirits and serpentine altars on fire and she was manifesting aggressively when i went to her i asked her what happened after you had prayed for her she said before she became a member of of the commission in 2020 she had a relationship with a young man who was dropping her off from a club around 4 a.m dropping her off, off from, from a, club, a club night club yes sir around 4 around 4 a.m the, the guy was an owner of the club so he was dropping her off and then they got to a stream and he stopped the vehicle came out and obviously was trying to initiate her into into what she didn't know from that moment she began to have encounters with serpents and water beings in the dream of the night wow. that relationship ran till october 2021 she said she hated church didn't like coming to church at all the first day she came to church it was on a sunday in november 2021 she said we were making brutal declarations as usual and then while where where she was standing she began to sting she was she was literally smelling and had to run out of the church to go and clean herself up then she began to come to church gradually gradually while she stood here today she said something told her you are not meant to be here leave this place leave this place she was still in that atmosphere when fire encountered her encountered her and then those declarations came she said while you were making the declaration she found herself in a dark room she was seeing she was seeing shadows seeing strange strange beings and then declarations were coming all of a sudden light shone into that into that arena and she saw herself pulled out and she's standing here clean to the glory of god set me free the beings in the arena died they all, they all disappeared they all, they all disappeared. disappeared they disappeared incredible people are walking normal but you don't know what in their carry <laughs> why why young man said who had a, a problem of lifestyle of uh, womanizing before he came to this church so he said since he came to this church he has not done anything like that again because anytime he sits here at the healing service and he sees people stand and say snake came out of them <laughs> he said a serpent came out of them this came out of them they say okay so anytime i encounter these people this is what i'm encountering <laughs> The young man. The young man will be telling me, I am the only one that will marry you. If I don't marry you, nobody else will marry you. Say amen. What? It's over. Congratulations. Lift up your hands. You are set free. Mother, come and lay hands on her and pray for her. Father, we give you the praise and the honor. We appreciate you. Thank you, Master. Complete freedom. Complete deliverance from every agenda of hell. Complete freedom. Complete liberty. Complete deliverance from the hold of hell. Today is a new day in Jesus' precious name. Yes. Sir, this fire produced 41 of them. Several. Of course, hold on one minute. I, I'm sure you know that you are now starting a new beginning. Please, I want the counselors to attend to her. Uh, that relationship that is not godly must be over. And then a new start and a new beginning. Yes, go ahead. Sir, we have with her 41 of them. Different issues. Forty one of, of who? You prayed for her against water spirits, <laughs> serpentine spirits. Those delivered, Those delivered by from nice. water spirits and serpentine spirits and spiritual, spiritual husbands. Okay. <laughs> Forty one of them. Forty one of who? <laughs> Starting from my sister, you come up. She said all she has known is to see serpents in her dream, see herself around water no relationship will survive without any reason now as the fire came on the altar of serpents she said she began to see snakes leave her and immediately she saw a young man with a ring ring knelt down another young man asking her to marry the young man plenty to do <laughs> give the lord a big clap of hand 
and and then 41 of them like that like that sir. different serpentine different encounters encounters some of them serpent entered them when they got pregnant and was sucking babies just oh my, like you mentioned my god like that lady there here this one you were the one that they were sucking babies this my sister in her house there is a serpentine altar and in the, her own house in her own father's house and the mother warned them never to kill that snake Last, oh, there's a live snake there yes, that the, must the not snake, be killed the snake comes and looks through the window and sees everybody and will be watching and the mother said nobody should touch that snake Kai. and her marriage is in terrible tumult this one she says she sees different there are so many stories different colors and of what snakes. happened while the prayer was on fire consumed everything that's right that's the most important plan fire consume all the snakes why will fire not consume the snake another one said that is a that is a stone when she was about eight a stone an idol stone in her father's house she came out one day to urinate and she saw mommy water looking at her she told everyone they said she was joking how does mommy water look like i don't know how it looks like that. <laughs> but today she said she saw fire Engulf that stone and that stone scattered. Four, Give the Lord a shout of praise. Can somebody stand up here right now? Stand up here right now. Stand up here right now. Stand up. One day I was praying for a pastor. I was praying for a pastor. Listen to this very interesting. And I told the pastor, I said, What is this snake that I see around you? He was pastoring in, I think, Oka. It's from a dusted. What is this snake that I see around you and around your life? It's nobody is able to become anything in your life. Not even to become a Christian. For somebody to become a Christian is a challenge. You say that is the exact truth. He is not just the first Christian, but attempting to be the first pastor. And the devil said, No way. His father is a chief. And in the house, there is a house for his for the snake. The snake comes out of his house in the morning. And go and greet the chief. And then returns back to his house. They serve him Kolanot. They serve, they serve him Kolanot. That is crawl out of his house. Stands. Bends for the chief. And returns back. Shh. He was trying to be a pastor for where? But one day, now one day. Hey. Today, now the day. Oh. One day, now one day. Haba. Do you know that Haba is the most important part of that song? Go again. One day, now one day. Haba. One day, one day, one day. Say after me, say everyone stand up on your feet and say after me, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every altar, every altar in my father's house, in my father's house, in my community, in my community, around my destiny, around my destiny, fighting my life, fighting my life, fighting my destiny, fighting my destiny, fighting the purpose of God for my life. Oh, you altar, today is your end. In the name of Jesus, catch fire, fire. Every altar in my father's house, in my community, serpentine altar, occultic altar, witchcraft altar, fighting my life, fighting my destiny. Today is your end. Catch fire. 
Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, 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 Thank you, Master, for hearing and answering in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Celebrate your way back to your seat. We might not be able to handle all of it. And if there are one more, all right, all right. If there are one or two testimonies, you still want us to take. The rest of you, your testimonies are permanent. And on this side, your testimonies are permanent. Just dance your way back to your seat. clap as you take your seat. Son, this yeah. is an usher. He said he stood here and was serving. And while he was serving, while he was serving, he said he saw a skeleton came out of him. Wow. And then the skeleton turned into a crocodile. And he said you appeared and divided the crocodile into four. That's right. And he, he believed that he's free. Because wow. he said his family is almost upside down. Wow. The uncle is uh, a babalawo. Hi. <laughs> and uh, even his father is not a Christian also. <laughs> <laughs> that is what, what hook that family is plenty. Lift up your hands, you are free. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this crocodile that has been divided into four crocodile that was a skeleton before. Crocodile. <laughs> you know, it was formerly a, a skeleton. Crocodile. <laughs> skeletal. Whatever you be, the crocodile that was formerly a skeleton, whether you're a skeleton or a crocodile, oh! power be free in the name of Jesus. It will now work. Things 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 will now work. Let Whatever it is about this wood that I see, Lord, ask that you'll give us a testimony. In the name of Jesus is done. Sir, yes. So this is uh, Mr. Moses. Just hold on. This is a very drastic testimony. This one. Just hold on first. Hold on, man. Hold on. Just hold on. Tell me. This is Mr. Moses Matthew. 2017, he went out to ease himself. As he was returning back to the house, a negative breeze just embraced him as he was about stepping into the house. And from that point, he began to talk incoherently and became violent. Very violent. This is the wife. Two people brought him to church today. Wow. The insanity comes and goes. But in the course of the ministration, the power of God came on him and he started talking coherently oh. and he's fine now. he's calm it's well with you in the mic say you want to say something okay go ahead he spoke to me in house at two he said for about two years now 
he lost passion of any intimate relationship with his wife. Oh. That he only has passion for males. Okay. Do you understand last, that? Last night, in his dream, he had a voice. A personality appeared to him and told him that I have laid your help in Dunamis. Oh. Go to Dunamis. And they woke up this morning and he told his wife and they were on their way to this place. Oh. That your help is in Dunamis. Oh. Two of them brought him in here. The wife and the brother. Hmm. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Say Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For setting me free. For setting me. Permanently. Power into you. From this insanity. For ins this insanity. I am free. I am free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I reject. I reject. Any passion. Any passion. For man. For man. I have passion. I have passion. For my wife. For my wife. Satan. Satan. Your yoke is broken. Your yoke is broken. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hands. Father, let the fire fall upon him. And let this deliverance be permanent. But in lifted at Calvary. Calvary. Where is the person who came with this woman? Burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. Dr. Mr. Nature, do you remember this woman on her way out? She was, she was literally crawling or shuffling. She couldn't walk. She couldn't Amazing. walk. Amazing. Where, where did you see? I, you came with her? I, I take her from Le. I went to Lagos. Since January, she had been on the bed. On the bed, immobile. Can't Eating walk. Every, he can't walk. He oh cannot sit God. down. He cannot, so he I can't walk. Her. Can't sit down. No, I took her from Lagos to my place today. I saw her on her way out of Ellie Will ICQ this morning. Just just shuffling and literally crawling. And I said, be in the healing service. I even told them. I the gave him to one of my security persons here yes, to, to hand him over to the secretary so they can position her. So I can pray for her in the service. I have not prayed for her yet. Did the camera capture her at all when she was coming? Did they, did they show you people when you were coming? They followed this side. How were you walking before? Show the people. For how long? Eight, nine months. For eight, nine months now. All the way from Lagos. Show the devil how you can walk now. Hey! hey. Celebrate! Hey. Listen, I saw this woman this morning. It's too drastic. I wanted to pray for her. She was she was immobile. I have not yet prayed for her yet. And she's dancing now. In case you, what what camera, what light is that? In case you came in here this morning paralyzed, crippled, on a wheelchair, or you came with a crutch, and you are expecting me to pray for you before you walk. You don't need any prayer right now. Just stand up on your feet and begin to walk and dance forward. Come and join this woman in the front and dance. Lift up your crutch and come forward and dance. Stand up from your wheelchair. Begin to push that wheelchair forward here and come and join her and dance. I give you three minutes of the dance. That's right. One is already out. Join her up there. Another one out already. Lift your stick up. That's right. Lift it up. Another one out already. Come and join the woman to dance. Another one up here. Wait. If anybody came with a wheelchair and they are standing up from it, please come along with the wheelchair. If they came with a crutch or a stick, lift the crutch up. Sir, with that leg lifted, you can still sit down. Pray. Or just, just, just notice those who are not yet able to walk. Or see me. Usher. 
Anybody who is that's not healed yet. Okay? That's not healed yet. That that is their they are exercising faith. That one is not healed yet. Just just make sure the healing has happened. All right? All right, let's celebrate and go. See this leg. What happened the, to you? The back is worse. The back. The back is eh? worse. Poison. When was it? I still not seen it. Last week. It's making it up to two weeks now. Only two weeks? And the leg is destroyed, almost destroyed like this. Only two weeks. You say it's peppering her. Show the light from the back. Only two weeks. It became like this. It dries up within the next 72 hours. Step forward here. Hold the mic for me. Now you can show the whole work so that you can see the, the leaping of the work. Step forward here. Like covering from me and not seeing how work. Go here. The whole coverage is done. Bad coverage. Lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that this affliction will be power. Go now. Be healed. Behold. Be well. Charm return back to hell. Lift up your leg. Down. Down. Do what I'm doing. Good. Match there. Match there. Are you just looking like that? Are you just looking like that? Are you just looking? Are you just looking? walking see how terrible that leg is she couldn't match it on the ground ay, 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 ay. she said it is peppering me it is peppering me and just now the pepper has returned to the devil match it match it one two one two one are you just looking like that hey! ay, 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 ay. From struggling to walk to matching. Father, thank you. Father, congratulations. That is what to say. Father, thank you. Thank you. Sorry. No. You okay with her? Who is this woman bending double like this? I go to hospital. Then uh, check me, do send me for instance. Why she bend like this? I know I cannot walk. Her. Power! Jesus! 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 Why she bent like that? I cannot walk her. 
Father, thank you for this fire of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes, yes. Go be healed. Already healed. Already healed. Already healed. Fire. She stand this straight. Mother, lift your hand. Walk on, walk straight. the US and what was wrong with you arthritis involving the, the lumbar region and how are you working with this before you came alright and now you can lift it and walk mother what will you say Jesus thank you Kai, the healing. then say make I go astray I go astray then say my bone shift for right hand. Your bone shift for right side, yeah. for back. For by side. For by the side here. Yes. Then I the shift. I did hospital yesterday. One of my members say, Mama, go the program today. If you go program today, put your money for pocket. Go where you go give for Soko, where they send you. Put them for. Okay, the go. money where you they say make you go take 
Do x-ray. Put them for pocket. No, I don't do x-ray. Okay. Now then go repair my bone. Repair your bone. Yes. The member of this church say, make I go here. Make I come here. That program uh, program, uh, pro program, program the whole. Program the day to day. I say I must see my x-ray there. I say I must keep on my side. And go see my Jesus. And Jesus don't heal you. Yes. For where shift, Jesus shift and back. Are you just standing like that? Bone where shift, Jesus shift the bone back. Kolea, 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 kolea. Everybody sing it, that's right. at this rate I, I, I just have to stop here everything that is come up come up here what happened to your leg no remember I'm talking to this man what happened to your leg but I know they do they know they talk in English now who started to speak now accident mm. Mm. you get accident uh, going to two years two years now uh, come come lift up your hands go Bomb be mended. Match. Match. Today, not today. Hey! Did you see how the man was working? Raw, raw, raw. See the leg, see the leg. Accident for two years. That immobilized that leg. Walking crookedly, walking crookedly. Just now you saw it. And all of a sudden, fire entered the leg. Electricity electrocuted the devil. She is crying. Thank you, Jesus. Hola, 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 hola. Hey, hey, hey. No, just, just a minute first. A minute first. Thank Why you, are you? Jesus. Who is it to you? It's my elder brother. Your elder brother? Yes, sir. Why are you crying? Ah, I so far. We went different places. We can't find solution. It's my friend that invited me to this program. Who invited Thank you? you. Next week, Tuesday, I'd like you to jam this place with people from everywhere. Anywhere you are watching now, Jesus is here. He is walking miracles, wonders, signs. We are in the days of the latter rain. Where the Bible said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. We are seeing unusual manifestations, apostolic signs and wonders, prophetic signs and wonders, evangelistic signs and wonders, deliverance signs and wonders, all manner of wonders. Don't be delayed. Anywhere you are, Wait, who is she? She's the one that invited you. She me. invited you people. Why is this man like this? All the way from Zaria. Death, go. Go! Go! Go, dead spirit. Command the bones to be normal. Command bone marrows to be normal. Command life to come into the bones. Life come into your body. Life come into your system.
Thank you, Master. All the way from Zaria. We came. They said, make it all the way. He that he could not make it. Yes, sir. He was saying that now. That he's Look at that. Just a minute. He has to lean on my body. Just a minute. I'm just seeing the ivy line. He has to lean on my body. That's why I saw him lean on my body. Because all right. Stand he was up. shouting pains. Stand up. Pains everywhere. Stand. Would you do your new own? Do you get your glamour? Are you just sitting and looking? Ay, 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 ay. Do your new own? Do you get your glamour? Hey, 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 hey. Lift your hands and just go ahead and appreciate him. If we continue at this rate, it's just we might just continue the whole day and the whole night. But it, it, it's appearing to me as if God has decided to make this place a headquarter of power of his glory of his manifestation in unusual dimensions in all dimensions God came down today he's already healed you are already healed let's see the land Hey, 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 hey. 
prophesy to everyone here today. Everyone who came in here with any form of affliction. You don't need to come out afresh anymore. Every form of disease. You came in here with liver disease, with kidney disease, with cancer, with glaucoma, with blindness, deafness, dumbness. With any agenda from the pit of hell, fighting your life and tormenting your destiny. Today, I declare it is over. Everyone who came in here sick, you can place your hand where the sickness is. Whatever be the sickness, whatever be the torment, whatever be the affliction. Whatever be the torment, whatever be the affliction, whatever be the disease, whatever be your condition, whatever you are tormented with, whatever is troubling you, I declare today that torment is over. That torment is over. That torment is over from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I declare you healed and whole. On your way to your house, your miracle will manifest. As you sleep overnight, the miracle will manifest. Something already happened in Jesus' precious name. Celebrate. Yes. Cervical spondylosis for three years came in with the pain and the neck collar. While you were praying for that, she realized that move she could neck. now move her neck. The pain gone. You are great. You're the miracles. So great. There is no one else like you. Yes. So, this man was brought in by his neighbor, a member of the church. From another religion, had done brain surgery. He said that a brain tumor at India, Wait, and he came. He had what? Brain tumor. Yes. And has gone to India for surgery. He came in here vibrating, but as the service kept going on, he saw that he has remained still. He came out himself and said he believes he has, he's healed. Wow. Vibration is healed. The brain tumor vibrated his body. Yes, sir. For how long? Um, a year now. A year now. Yeah, he's, he's going another one for India. To India. Yes, yes. The eyes is it affected the eyesight. Yes. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you because of your goodness and your mercies. Thank you for this man. Lift your hand. I take authority over this tumor in the brain that affected and blinded the eye. In the name of Jesus. And that brain to more dry up and die up. So great. Wherever you see light. See what I'm holding. Watch it. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. A miracle has commenced here. Brain to mother blinded the eye. The eye is seeing light and is able to pick what I was holding. Father, let the miracle be completed. Every trace of brain tumor disappear and let the eye see with clarity and with detail. Stand up on your feet, everybody. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Everyone here, your testimonies are permanent in the name of Jesus. Celebrate their way back to their sin. <laughs> I'm a 
Confirmation of shifted bone straightened on the spot. On the spot, not gradually. Brought all the way from Zaria. Afflicted legs that couldn't even match the ground. Running and dancing. Whew. Is it not good to serve Jesus? this morning it appears to me like another chapter of the wonders of God is opened we are seeing things but we are in another chapter 
the chapter will escalate tomorrow evening midweek service and practically explode on Friday night Friday is the last Friday of the first half of this year the last Friday of the first half so it becomes our cross overnight crossing from the first half of the year into the second half of the year with the God of the new beginnings say the loudest amen if you have the clip of the miracle or the, the clip of that program please play it very very fast let's see work and wonders night it is a crossover from the first half into the second half of the year with a god of new beginnings ministry dr pastor paul and dr mrs becky paul and nature it promises to be fireful in the presence of the lord healings encounters restoration of human destinies signs and wonders Venue, the Glory Dome, Dunamis International Gospel Center, Airport Road, Abuja, Nigeria, on Friday, 24 June 2022, by 9.30 p.m. Come and experience the God of new beginnings. It's your year of overflowing grace and glory. Invite someone. Jesus is Lord. Give the Lord a big clap of hand, a shout of praise. Invite your friends, invite your loved ones, let this place be jammed to capacity to overflow. Pick up the, the handbills who are going to be writing everything that must not cross into the second half of the year. We are going to write them on paper and set them on fire that Friday night. And then coming Sunday, the last Sunday also of the first half of the year. It's a special testimonies and thanksgiving service. And we are dealing with the subject of financial wisdom. From financial struggles to financial stardom. If you have been struggling financially, that agenda of the enemy shall be terminated 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. 6.30 a.m. first service and then 9 a.m. second service. And um, we, we started with relationship and marital wisdom last Sunday. Explosive miracles in, in homes already happening. And the subject will be completed before we start off in, the, in this coming week. I believe that the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. By Sunday, we are going to prepare a very special handbill for distribution. In fact, we can start from this vigil, can start from, from Tuesday, I mean Wednesday tomorrow, and continue till vigil, and then continue on, 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 on Sunday, because I see that even next week, Tuesday, will shift higher yet from whatever we have seen today. And we're going to prepare for it and prepare with the handbills. We are e encountering and experiencing light. Encountering and experiencing the wonders of his light. The wonders of his light. The light of God and God himself is light. We shall unravel it next week, Tuesday. And then see wonders like water. Today is rehearsal. If you are watching, anywhere you are watching, just understand that that is happening. I'll be in Wari tomorrow morning. Uh, Dunamis International Gospel Center. An early morning service. And it's going to be a most explosive time. Yes, uh, what about the early will I seek you to hold? It will hold here. Maybe we'll broadcast from there. Whichever way it will hold. But everyone in the Delta area and also in... Um, uh, in, 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 in a do area, if you are able to be in that service, ensure that you are there. You get more details from the on, 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 online today, and we trust God to have an explosive time. Somebody say Amen. Already, every word we have heard today is every manifestation of God today is already a message. Because one miracle preaches more than a thousand sermons. Acts chapter 10 verse 38, just for the sake of completion. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. What we have experienced today is the anointing of the master. You can take that as the subject of a five minutes charge. The anointing of the master. Jesus Christ. 
is not just a religious figure. He is the son of God that has the backing equipment to carry out his assignment. Christ is not a title. Christ is a man too. Jesus Christ, when we say Jesus Christ, it's not a, a second, it's not like a, another way to call Jesus. Christ is a man too. It means the anointed one with his anointing. What is the anointing of the master designed to do? Number one, good deed. It is designed for good deed. Anything that was not correct to correct them, he went about doing good. Good deed. Whatever was not normal to normalize it. Anything that has been tempered with to write it. It is designed for good deed. Number two, it is designed for recovery and restoration of health. Recovery and restoration of health. Anywhere you see Jesus Christ, good is done. Health is recovered. Health is restored. Number three. It is designed for liberation from oppression. Liberation from oppression. So he goes to do good. He goes to recover and restore health. He goes to liberate and set people free from the oppression of the enemy. Like we saw abundantly today. Snakes and snails and all manner of demons coming out of people. There are many others, but these three are key. And what is our key to receiving the ministry of the master? Matthew eleven twenty eight. 28. Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Learn of me. Number one, come to him. And number two, Submit to learn. Come to him and submit to learn. That is why this morning, everyone seated here today and everyone watching via the satellite or the internet in need of surrender to Jesus, in need of forgiveness of your sins, I want you to come to him. And then when you come, settle down to learn. Wherever you are, you are saying, Pastor, I've heard that Jesus does good. That Jesus recovers and repairs and, and restores health. And he liberates from oppression. I need him in my life. And I want to come to him right now. Carry your Bibles or your bags or anything you came to church with. And be the first person to come right to the front here and say, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want my sins. That's why I come forward. I want my sins forgiven. Right now, I give you the count of ten. One, Dr. Mr. Nature, you come and lead them to Christ. Two, don't be the last person to come out. Three, four, five, why don't you give him your life? Six, seven, give him your life. Eight, Nine and ten. Why don't you give him your life? Give him, give him, give him, give him. Give him your life. 
Why don't you give him your life? Give him your life. Give him your life. Keep on coming and keep on coming and keep on coming. And if you are here, maybe you have given your life to Christ before, but you are battling with smoking, battling with drinking, battling with alcoholism, battling with gambling, battling with womanizing. There is a lifestyle you are struggling with, and you want forgiveness, and you want the yoke broken. I'm tired of smoking, I'm tired of drinking, I'm tired of prostitution. I'm tired of womanizing. I'm tired of night clubbing. I'm tired of fraud, gambling. Come forward now. I give you another count of seven. And come fast. Come with your Bibles and your bags. One. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven, give him your life. Mm. Why don't you give him your life? Give him your life. Give him your life. Give him your life. Why don't you give him your life? Give him your life. Give him your life. Give him your life. He's waiting for you. Those of you that are standing out here and those of you watching online that want to make your ways right with Christ, simply pray this after me. Put one hand on your chest and leave the other hand up to God and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Today, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Jesus Forgive me all my sins. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I lay all my sins and, 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 and yokes and bondages at the foot of the cross. And I take on the righteousness of Christ. From today, I am now born again. In Jesus' name. Amen. I declare the hold of sin broken off your life and the grace to live for God be released upon you. I call it done. In Jesus' name. Please remain where you are. In a short while, those who are here for the first time will also join us in front. And our counselors will attend to you, speak with you, and we'll trust God to see you within the week's program. But above all, on Sunday, okay, Saturday evening by 6 p.m., we have a special welcome package for you within this church here and I'll see you as you come and then also by Sunday morning we'll see you but Saturday first 6 p.m. here in the sanctuary God bless you in Jesus name remain where you are everybody stretch your two hands in front of you and I pray upon your hands and I declare that the harvest shall look for you your resources shall look for you from the north and the south and the east and the west I call it done as we have seen all manner of healing and deliverance miracles you will see financial miracles. Can I hear a louder amen? Before the end of today, where your money has been tied and it was not released, it shall be released. Under the next 24 to 48 hours, everything belonging to you that is kept back by the enemy shall be released into your hands. I declare a new day and a new season for you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go on and pick up your offerings and let us honor God. What a cat, Amano, or Take it, Tamano. Take it, Tamano. Oribi, 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 O
boma 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 Lift up the offerings high. Father, multiply the harvest of every giver. And the hands lifted will never drop to burn. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go ahead. Drop the offerings. Boma 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 Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Be upstanding everywhere you are if you have dropped your offerings. Those here for the first time, we also want you to join us forward. Today is your first time in this Dunamis church. You haven't been here before. Carry your bags and your Bibles and step forward here and let us receive you. Now, everyone else, lift up your hands. See you tomorrow at the midweek service and also see you on Friday at the half year crossover service. God bless you. Tell everybody what you have seen here today. Tell them about coming Tuesday, the wonders of his light. Handbees should be distributed tomorrow against next week, Tuesday, and all the way for at the night view as well. Lift your hands high. First timers, we are still waiting for you to join us forward. I'm sure that the, the counselors will be able to demarcate them. Those who are here for the first time. And those who, yes. Lift your hands high. Now be released everyone in the name of the Father. Can I, can I, can I hear a louder amen? amen? And of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Say a louder amen. amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Say a louder amen. amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And the Lord be gracious unto you from this day and forevermore i prophesy today a new day for you a new season for you new health for you new grace for you in the name of jesus go forth and break forth and return back with your testimonies on your way home testimonies shall manifest overnight tonight testimonies shall manifest in every spirit of retaliation reprisal counter attacks on the basis of these miracles, they are reversed and nullified and returned back to hell. In the name of Jesus, everyone who received a miracle, your miracle shall last. Go forth and break forth in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Can I hear a louder amen? The Lord keep you. A louder amen. Cause his face to shine upon you in Jesus' precious name. And now the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of God, the fellowship of the Spirit, be with us now forevermore. Amen. And surely, His goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life as you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Say a louder amen. A loud most amen. Amen at the top of your voice. And our year 2022 is our year of what? Overflowing grace and glory. And how are you doing? How is your life? And how is everything about you? Proceed in the overflow in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Those who are here who surrendered their life to Jesus, we are appreciative of you. And those who also came for the first time, we are appreciative of all of you. We have a sitting position for you here. Please evacuate that seat immediately so that these new people can sit. And we have a package for you and a word for you. All of us, both those who are here for the first time and those who came out for the altar call, I'd like to see you all on Saturday night by 6 p.m. We have vehicles available to take you back at least to where you can be comfortable uh, when you come on Saturday. God bless you in Jesus' name. Celebrations proceed. I can see everything turning around.